Hello everyone, welcome back to SFDC Panther. My name is Amit Singh and in the previous video we talked about the input elements related to picklist values. In this video we will talk about the resources, how we create the resources inside a lightning flow builder. So as you can see here on the right, left hand side under the manager, you see you have got a button called new resource. If you click here, on the resource type you, you get the multiple values. We will mainly focus on these three values, which is variable, constant, and formula. Most of the times, we will be dealing with these. You have already talked about choice and picklist choice set. The stage thing, some uh, stage thing is something which we will talk about later on while we will be uh, creating a particular uh, particular video for this stage only. So, constant, as you see here, this is for creating some sort of constant values. Like if you have suppose that you have some uh, base url of your organization or you wanted to store some values for a particular label kind of things you can have store inside a constant value that you you don't want it to change it uh, dynamically right it is basically a static value which is constant and you want it to store there inside a flow and that constant value also is only static for that particular flow that is why you are creating inside a flow then formula field is something which you can create a formula you can calculate based on some other input variables or based on some other global variables that are available inside your flow. Suppose that we are saying here we wanted to store a date of three days ago or two days ago. So that we say that two day minus two. Data type you see here, these are the various data types available for formula. It can be text or number, it can be currency values, Boolean, date or date time. So if you wanted to have a date, that is what it says that two day minus two. So in a global variable, we have got a flow. Flow have multiple values. You can see here it says that current date, date time. What is the error which is say that fault message? What is the current stage? When the flow has started? What are the active stages? Interview, GUID, and current record. Okay. So we will select here current date, and then we wanted to add two. So we will say that. We wanted to minus two. We will say two day minus two. This is a very simple formula for two day minus two. The other formula that we might be using or you might be using is getting the org base URL dynamically, right? Suppose that you are here in this org, then you are deploying the flow to the different org, and you want to have that org URL dynamically. So how you can do that? Again, for that you can have a formula, and you can say that okay, it is a variable base URL. Then data type this time it is going to be a text. Okay. Now what how you are going to have the base URL? So to do that, there is an API global variable and it has multiple URL, right? So what we will use is we will use partner, partner server URL 260. That is going to give us some uh, this is the one 261 we will be using. And this is not going to give the exact base URL, but we will see what exactly it is giving us. Okay. But this is basically for giving us the base URL. So this is how you create the formula. Now, if you wanted to re uh, refer these, you can just go to the first screen of your flow and then say, okay, you wanted to have a display text on the top. We already talked about what display text is. And here under the resources, we will select what resources is. One is two day minus two, and the other one is base URL. So these are the two values that we wanted to display in our display text and we've got this just to make sure what values we are getting there okay so this is about our formula now let's say that uh, there is one which we talked about is variable this variable is very important most of the time you will be dealing with this variable where you will say okay let's create a variable for example you are using this flow inside a record flow uh, sorry record page say that inside opportunity so you have to read this record id so how you will read that for that you just need to use record id record id like this okay this is going don't use where before that because this is a uh, we say that reserved keyword just to read the record id from your record detail page and then data type will always be text and make sure it is available for input the object that you want it sorry it is data type is text okay then this is for here and then click on done this is one variable now for example you wanted to store this opportunity record okay you wanted to query and you wanted to store somewhere so how you will do that 
for that just go ahead click on variable and say here you have got variable opportunity record and this time what you wanted to store it is an object right so for object we will select record what object it is the data type for that object is opportunity now either it is available for input or it is available for output whatever you want okay then you can see there is one more thing which says that allow multiple values so if you click here this particular variable will be a type of opportunity list okay if you uncheck this this variable will be a type of single record so this is a single record and then if you want to create a list record you have to create variable opportunity list and then that time check this checkbox and then save it okay then if you click on again select variable then you see the data type you have got number you are already familiar text you already know currency boolean date date time up to here you are already good picklist and picklist multi select as these names select these are the pick, uh, for the picklist values this is very important which says that apex defined so if you say that okay you don't have the input type which you want to use inside of flow for example you wanted to have a record then you wanted to have some text inside a single variable how you can do that for that you have got this apex defined apex defined is a variable which takes the classes and those classes have the or enabled variables inside that okay so if you have any class which you have the or enabled variables those that class will appear over here under apex class so if you see here these are some standard classes which are provided by salesforce related to connect api these are the some classes related to an apex change package which i have installed and then again these are some related to the order management okay so basically these are this is the apex defined i am not i haven't created any class over here just to show you how this works you just need to quickly go to the developer console and create one quick class so to that to do that just go to the file new and we will say that okay creating from flows okay this is our class and this class will have multiple variables so we will say those variables must be or enabled this is variable greeting message we can say that language okay and we'll say that how you say bye and for this instead of you can say that how you say hi so basically this class is which takes okay language in which uh, in your language what is uh, hi and in your language what is bye so just go ahead and save this class now you've got this greeting greeting from flows you just need to go back okay cancel it first save your flow because you have created few things and then after saving it refresh this page so that we can get our class there inside the apex defined variables and now you are here you just need to go ahead and click on new resource select variable and we will say that okay whatever the variable is and the class name this time you select apex defined and this is your class okay you don't see that class so the reason why we don't see is basically this is the variable which we try to make it static but those uh, those variables won't be static and that is a, a small mistake that i did made from my side so if you do now now you see here it is basically saved now this won't come here we'll try again without refreshing this is not here so we have to refresh the page again try to create a variable select uh, apex defined now you see here your class is here which says that greeting from flows and then you can say either available for input if you wanted to have the list of variables you can say those list of variables and then you can just go ahead and say okay that's it click on done these are the different type of resources that we have few we have left but we will definitely talk those into into the coming videos with the real example now suppose that you wanted to use this variable inside your screen flow as an input because these are the three input variables that you wanted to take to do that click on a screen over here and then here what you have to do is let's say that we wanted to have a text element as an input so this time label will be language we don't record it and what is going to be the default value so you can say that you've got apex defined and then what is your language okay so you say that variable that means class dot variable okay then similarly you can have here we say that what will be here so we'll say that hi and then again similarly we will say that class dot how you say hi and then get back to another and we will say that bye so basically this is how you use inside your variables uh, sorry inside your screen and then click on save it we'll try to see what exactly is there we'll debug and we have to see the 
formula values as well because we have created two formulas so now you can see here record id is available as an input because we have selected that we said that record id is available as input we, are, we don't want that so it says that language whatever we wanted to have say that english and we will say that hello and we'll say that bye click on next you see here whatever you have got this is the base url with having some extra values like what is the then it says the services soap ui then version 26 and this is the org id on the right hand side if you see in the screen which is apex defined it says that the text box high the label is high and the values you have put is hello similarly for boy okay and similarly for your language so these are the values that you have provided in the previous screens and this is your date which says that october 8 2021 t minus 2 okay and then here it is your base url now if you want to have the base url you can use left functions and you can say what exactly values you want to have you can fetch from there so this is it for this video just to show you how to create the variables and how to create the formulas inside your flow builders and thank you for your time in the coming video we will talk about how to get the record from salesforce and uh, before you go ahead please don't forget to like share subscribe the channel thank you